If you guys have been following my channel for a while now, you would know that I'm currently renovating a house in Palm Springs to turn into an Airbnb. It's been about six months now, and while the project isn't fully completed, there have been a lot of changes, so I wanted to show some before and afters and do an update on where we're at. All right, let's take a look at the changes. So starting with outside, you'll notice this area is really the last part to complete. So starting with the exterior of the house and the courtyard, we did switch this up a little bit, but it's not fully done yet. You can see in the before, there was a wall that blocked off the backyard and there was some older concrete and kind of reddish colored river rock. And that all just led up to the front door. And here's what it looks like right now. So we've already closed this in with a bit of glass and unfortunately one of the panels did break. And so we're gonna have that more reinforced on the top and bottom. So there's gonna be glass here and this glass door, which will all be silver. You can open it up, it's pretty big, which is nice um, and then we did get an electric vehicle charger installed over here we have this fence painted white added some white rocks just to have everything cleaned up a little bit and we are having a bit of construction done today that's why this stuff is here it's not normally here and over here these sheds were brown also we had this stuff painted white and garbage cans go over there and okay let's head in so like I said, this area isn't done quite yet, but you can kind of see where it's going. It's gonna be a fenced in courtyard and we're gonna add some cactuses and desert landscaping where the white rock is. I'm thinking like some tall cactus, stuff like that. And walking in here, it's really cool because you see the pool right as you enter the gate and the property. And it's just, wow, like pool mountains, super cool. I love how you walk in and see that. So again, this was the before. You didn't see any of the backyard or the mountain view. And now when you walk through the gate, you can immediately see the backyard, pool, mountains, and it just looks beautiful. And then this area we also are gonna clean up. I've seen ways people kind of hide these with a box or some planters, that kind of thing. Another part of the courtyard that changed is right over here where there used to be a closet. Over here, we actually added a washer and dryer. So you open this up, whoops. And we have a washer and dryer. It's got a little light in here. So you don't hear it when you're in the house. If you're doing laundry, you don't hear that washer and dryer sound, which is pretty nice. I got this cool mat made just on Etsy. So I think that's fun. Our Airbnb is called the Racket Club Resort. So here's what it looked like before when you entered the house. As you can see, the ceiling was not painted yet and it had the old tile. I'm sure you guys will see some differences from the last time. Yeah, we got new flooring, we got rid of that white tile, and I think it looks so much better. And in the entryway for now, we have this kind of bookcase. This is from Cardiel, and we kind of temporarily styled this. It's a little big for the area, so we might move it. Now moving into the living room, here's what it looked like before in the living and dining area of the house. So really the big thing that you'll notice is the flooring and the painted ceiling. And of course we changed all the furniture as well. Walking in, this is the main living area. Just take it in, take in the differences. I think that adding the polished concrete really made the whole space feel like a whole new house in the best way. We added this light here. This is from Herman Miller. So this is a light that you will see a lot if you go to Palm Springs. It is a kind of classic mid-century style. So if you've been following for a while, you know that we did paint the ceilings ourselves. And this is kind of what it looked like before all that when we had the house and we're starting to get some furniture in it, but it was still pretty bare. So you can see what it was like before it was totally furnished and when there was still that wall up in the kitchen. So living area, here's how it's looking so far. This rug is from Ruggable, which is gonna be great for Airbnb because you can throw it in the washer. And over here we have the Cardiel couches, really cool style. I think it matches the style of the house. And we do still need to put some art on these walls for Airbnb. I think it's fun to add, you know, maybe some more color, just a little more personality. So we're definitely gonna do that. We added recessed lights up in this area and it brings so much more light into the house at night. Here's what it looked like before. I don't really have any nighttime shots, but it would just get really dark in here. And since this area didn't have wooden ceilings, it was the perfect spot to add some recessed lights. And it really does make it just feel a lot brighter. Adding these lights made a huge difference. It really made it feel like a modern house. And we added these sconces 
I'll link them below because I don't remember. I got them on a random website, but I think they look really cool in this space. Really minimal um, and with the frame TV. Yeah, I think it all looks cool. Yeah. So, and then we have, I feel like everyone's favorite part of a house, the kitchen. But before I show you guys the kitchen, I wanted to thank the sponsor of this video who has stocked up the kitchen, Thrive Market. If you guys haven't heard about Thrive Market, it's an online marketplace on a mission to make healthy eating more affordable and easier. Here's what I got for Thrive Market to stock up my house and kitchen, and I got all of this for $100. With Thrive Market, you get membership pricing. You're really gonna find the best price you're ever able to find on this stuff with a really low membership price. If you do the yearly membership, it's only $5 a month, and with the monthly, it's $10 a month. Thrive Market guarantees that you will recoup the cost of that membership with the money that you save just shopping here, and they guarantee it or they will refund you. I like it because it's really easy it's all online you can skip the store and it's free shipping over $49 which is really most orders when you're stocking up your pantry they also make it easy to shop for different diets so say you're keto paleo gluten-free you can easily shop with those different diets on Thrive Market or if you're like me and you kind of eat whatever you can also do that so here's everything I got in my order and this was just at $100. As you can see, this is really high quality stuff, a lot of it normally being $10 or more. And I saved $102 on the order. You guys can join Thrive Market today. I'll put a link in the description. And if you join with my link, you get 25% off and a free gift. I'll show you guys my free gift. It's like a good gift. It's not like a $5 gift. This was the free gift I got, a whole thing of avocado oil. This is not like a sample size, it's a full, Thing of avocado oil, so that's an amazing free gift. <laughs> All right, and now let's take a look at the kitchen. This is definitely the biggest transformation of the interior of the house. So this is a look at the kitchen before. It was closed in and kind of more traditional looking. So the goal was just to make it more modern and more opened up. And we knew because it was a vacation rental also, we wouldn't need quite as many cabinets. So we could definitely take this wall out, make it more of that open concept and just more fun for a vacation rental. I really wasn't sure where to go with this. So I let Monica pick the cabinets and then I picked the rest of the stuff in the kitchen and here's a little bit of what it looked like while we were renovating it yeah it's looking a lot different so you already know that we took down the wall but we went for a mid-century style so here's a quick look at the kitchen this is kind of a sneak peek but my sister monica is going to be doing an entire video about the kitchen renovation so i'll link that below when it's up but for now you guys just get kind of a look at it but we'll have a more in-depth video up soon so stay tuned for that so here's another before and after just side by side so you can really see the differences and how it looks moving on we've got the airbnb owner's closet i did switch out all the door handles so that they match before they were very mismatched kind of different and now they're just all matte black door handles and walking into this bedroom. So this room has two twin beds and I'm actually switching out for two full size beds because we realized we actually can fit that in this room. So we might as well because we've had some people stay here and it just is like, if you're an adult, like a, a twin size bed is just not super comfortable. So if we can fit it, I figure we might as well. So. I did end up switching out those twin size beds to two full size beds and I'm so happy I did. It feels like its own little hotel room in and of itself in here. It's super cozy. So now the only thing left to do is add a nightstand, move the sconces and just kind of switch up the artwork. And then moving on to the next room. This one, it hasn't changed a whole lot since you guys last saw it. It is pretty much the same. And the only thing I think I'm gonna switch are the blinds. Just get new blinds that aren't, you know, these ones actually don't work very well. Over here, so this is where the washer was and this is definitely under construction still. Like this has been where we're storing things that we need to like paint and do stuff like that. But I think it could be a good spot for storage or eventually extending the bathroom. So this is bathroom number one and we haven't done a whole lot to it. We switched out this mirror and we're gonna add a light here, but we're not really gonna change the tile until a lot later. I do wanna do like a full bathroom remodel, but it's just not fully necessary at this point. I mean, this room is basically done. I mean, you guys have already seen it. 
yeah, really no updates with this room. I just wanted to show you guys it again because I love it. And since I've already done an entire video about the backyard transformation, I won't go too into detail in this one, but here's a quick before of what the backyard used to look like. And here's how it's looking now. So it is mostly done. It has been mostly done for a little while now, although we are still kind of furnishing it and figuring out how to make it look its best. And here's the side yard before, which we have some updates. We planted some citrus trees and got an above ground hot tub. And these aren't the most, you know, aesthetically pleasing. So I like that it's in the side yard, but you still get a mountain view from the hot tub, which is great. These hot tubs also are hot all the time and less expensive to heat. So I think this will be really good for renters. And I am playing around with the idea of yellow umbrellas. Let me know what you guys think. I color corrected these. They are still the pink ones, but I feel like it'd be kind of cool. Comment down below if you agree. But yeah, this is what the backyard's looking like. The ficus trees are growing in a lot and eventually they're gonna be thick like the ones on the side. So I'm happy with how they're growing. So that is the house update. As you can see, it's almost done. It is really close to being ready for Airbnb, but there are just a lot of little things to still fix. It has come a long way though. I think the house looks super different from how it did seven months ago and now i really enjoy being here it's really fun now so that is the house update hope that you guys enjoyed check out thrive market below i'll have them linked down below and i will see you guys in my next video bye